Hare Krishna. The burden of self-consciousness is best lifted by becoming conscious of something bigger than the self. Many times, whenever we have to do something which is difficult for us, which requires, say, public attention to come upon us, we may become self-conscious. Say, for example, if we speak for the first time in public, then we will become very self-conscious. And that self-consciousness may cause us to freeze. Now, to prevent such freezing, to prevent panicking, to prevent choking, what can we do? One way is to become conscious of something bigger than the self, something other than the self. That means if we think, oh, I'm too fat, oh, I'm not, I'm not, too, I'm not fluent enough, I'm not, I'm not smart enough, I'm not this, I'm not that. To the extent we are conscious of these things, to that extent, we can't move forward constructively. Our consciousness gets consumed by the self. Indeed, the self can become like a black hole. The more consciousness we give to the self, the more it consumes our consciousness. And we might become narcissistic, where we think of nothing other than ourselves. Now, some people are narcissistic in an extrovert way, where they keep talking about themselves. They are egotists. But some, some people become narcissistic in an introvert way. That means they keep thinking about themselves and they don't even talk with others. And they become completely cut off from the world. And this is unhealthy. So what, how do, what do we do to come out of this? We need to focus on something bigger than ourselves. So for example, if we have a very important message to share with someone, say even if we are not very fluent in speaking, but Suppose we have got, if suppose we are doctors and we have a medicine that can cure people of their sicknesses, sickness, of their disease. And we can provide them how the direction about how to take the medicine, where to get the medicine. Then if we are conscious of that bigger purpose, then we will not worry about our figure, our fluency, anything else like that. We just become conscious of sharing that message with others. So similarly for us, our life has a meaning that is bigger than ourselves. We all can become agents of positive change. If we connect with the one who is the source of all positive change, that is the Supreme Lord, Krishna, who is the well-wisher of all living beings. In the Bhagavad Gita 5.29, Krishna says, Bhoktaram yagyatapasam sarvalokamayeshwaram Surudam Sarva Bhutanam Gyatvamam Shanti Mrichati That Surudam Sarva Bhutanam That when we understand Him to be the well-wisher, greatest benefactor of everyone, then Gyatvamam, understanding Him in this way, Shanti Mrichati, we become, we become peaceful. We understand that our life has its ultimate meaning and its ultimate fulfillment in becoming an instrument for such a benevolent Lord. If we become an instrument for Him, then we move forward steadily, lovingly, merciful, mercifully by the Lord's grace. And we can do things which might, might earlier have choked us. We can move forward in our life till we ultimately attain life's supreme perfection. So, each of us can find out how we can connect with Krishna, how we can re-envision ourselves as parts of Krishna meant to do, assist him in his work in this world. We can focus on how we can play our part and once we do that, then we will find that each one of us, as we become conscious of Krishna and service to Krishna and conscious of how we can share Krishna consciousness with others and we become absorbed in sharing that Krishna consciousness with others, then we will no longer be self-conscious for we will become conscious of something bigger than ourselves. Thank you. Hare Krishna.